in the year 200X, a super robot named Mega Man was created. Dr. Light created Mega Man to stop the evil desires of Dr. Wily. However, after his defeat, Dr. Wily created eight of his own robots to counter Mega Man. Welcome back, Classic Gamers, and thanks for viewing Jay the Classic Gamers. Let's play Mega Man 2 for the NES Part 1. I did a Let's Play of the first Mega Man a while back, and I said I would LP all the Mega Mans on the NES. Mega Man is one of the best franchises on the NES. So with that said, let's finish listening to this badass title screen music, then get started. Alright, let's choose the normal difficulty, and we will start a fresh game. In the first Mega Man, there are only six robots you have to defeat. In Mega Man 2, there are eight. So let's start with Metal Man. On this stage, you have to walk across these conveyor belts. Some go with you, and some go against you. Ooh, let's go down here and get this energy tank. We might need it to refill our energy later on. Watch out for these falling spikes, they do quite a bit of damage to you. And no, you can't just jump over them, their chain will do damage to you also. I don't know what happened here, it started glitching out on me. I guess that's what happens when you play it on a real NES and not an emulator. Now that it stopped glitching out on me, you can see how much damage that spike did to me. It did quite a bit. This part here, you have these drill things coming from the ceiling and the floors. Take your time, there's no need to rush. If you rush, you'll get hurt. Ah, oh, why'd that big energy have to get stuck behind the wall? When you get on a conveyor belt that's going against you, jump. You'll move a little bit quicker. If you have the item 1 or the item 2 at this point, you could go up there and get that extra man, but I don't have either one at this point. Watch out for these clowns on these gears. You can, if you want, go down there and get that energy tank, but you will be losing a life, unless you have the item one or two. And here we are, approaching the boss door. Let's go in there and whoop Metal Man's ass. Metal Man will throw these metal gears at you. Just dodge the gears and shoot them as many times as you can. But watch out, the conveyor belt will switch directions, which makes it a little harder. One more shot ought to do it. Bam! That's how you beat Metal Man. He'll get equipped with Metal Blade. So alright, we got the Metal Blade, which is a very cool weapon in this game. You can shoot it in eight different directions. It's awesome. I have no idea why it took me this long to choose the next enemy, but the next guy we will fight is Flash Man. I'm gonna kick your ass, Flash Man. 
On this stage, you walk on this glass surface, but it acts like ice, so you will slide, so watch out. Let's go ahead and equip our new metal blade and see how badass it is. Oh yeah, that's badass. If you have the item 1, you can go up there and get that extra man, but unfortunately I do not have item 1 yet. Oh no, not these assholes again. These are like the plunger guys who guard the bosses on Mega Man 1. Do not let them hit you, they do a lot of damage. Besides dropping down to the left, let's drop down to the right. It's a lot safer path this way. If I had the crash bombs, I could destroy that wall, but I don't, so let's continue on. Whatever you do, do not drop down to the left. Drop down to the right. This makes it a lot easier. You don't have to deal with those assholes down below. And if you can make all those jumps, you are awarded with another energy tank. Now we have to drop down and deal with one asshole. Just so you know, the metal blades do not do any damage to these assholes. You must use your pea shooter on them. And we have reached the boss door. Let's go in and whoop Flashman's ass. Before we go into his room, let's go ahead and switch over to the Metal Blade. He hates this weapon. Wow, what was that? Three or four Metal Blades and he's already dead? F. Get equipped with... Time Stopper! Message from Dr. Light. Item 3 completed! Get your weapons ready! 3. Get equipped with... Item 3. Well, that doesn't tell me shit about item 3, but we'll find out soon enough. Next robot is Bubble Man. Let's go kick his ass. You start off this stage on what looks to be icy platforms, but they do not act like ice, and you will not slide, so don't worry about it. Damn you baby frogs, quit playing leapfrog over me! Watch out here, make sure you keep moving fast, these platforms will fall. Ooh, an extra man, gotta go grab that. This is the part of the level where you gotta be most worried. The longer you hold the A button down, the higher Mega Man will jump. And if you jump all the way to the ceiling, you will run into them spikes and die instantly, so be careful. My best advice to you is just to take your time here. Don't do anything stupid and run into the spikes at the ceiling, or you will die.
die, Kermit. Whoa, that was too close to the ceiling. This part's pretty easy. Just watch out for the crabs falling from the sky. And we have reached the boss door. Let's go whoop Bubble Man's ass using the metal blade, of course. Just try to avoid his attack and hit him with metal blades. I think I counted four metal blades and he's dead. B. Get equipped with... Bubble Lead. Alright, the next robot's ass that we're gonna kick is Quick Man's ass. At the beginning of this stage, we're gonna use item 3 and see what it does. Very cool, it makes something that climbs on the wall so you can get to higher levels. Screw you guys, I'm out of here. And here comes everybody's favorite part. <laughs> if you're fast enough here and you can fall down to the right, you will get some extra goodies over there. Hey, who turned up the lights? Here's another part that's everybody's favorite. <laughs> All I can say is try to memorize the pattern and book ass. I almost got killed because I picked up the energy. Woo, we're done with that part. Oh, great. Now we got to deal with this asshole. Another one? Come on. Oh, shit. Now another one respawned behind me. I'm out of here. See ya. And now we come up to the boss door. Let's go kick Quick Man's ass. And we will be using the Time Stopper. When you use the Time Stopper, it will freeze Quick Man right in his tracks and do some damage over time. But it will not take all his damage all the way, so you will have to shoot him a few more times with your pea shooter. And just like that, Quick Man is destroyed. Q. Get equipped with... Quick. Boomerang. And the next robot we will be taking on is Woodman. <laughs> really? I guess his nickname's Woody. The first part of this stage is really easy. You'll be taking on some bats and killer bunny rabbits. And what's up, Doc?
I have no time to mess around with you two. See ya. Holy shit, a fire-breathing dog. These guys are pretty easy. Just jump their flames and shoot them. You want some of this, Fido? I didn't think so. Oh, you want some too, Rover. Take that. You asked for it. Oh no, it's two bats. Later, bats. Uh-oh, what's this? If he had a Mega Man name, he would be Monkey Man. Oh shit, I hate these birds. They're so annoying. Well, not necessarily the birds themselves, but what's inside their egg. Oh man, look at that. They just swarm you and they always seem to hit you. What the hell is this? A room with one killer bunny rabbit? He didn't stand a chance. Ah, this one's a little more trickier. Let's go ahead and equip the metal blade and kick his ass. Yeah, how you like that, killer bunny rabbit? Ah, oh, you want some too, you waspily wabbit? Aw oh, shit, it's some roadrunners. Meep meep. Meep meep. Meep meep. Meep meep. And we have reached the boss door. Let's go kick Woodman's ass, otherwise known as Woody. And what does Woody not like? The metal blade, of course. One thing about using the metal blade against Woody is you have to wait for him to throw his leaf shield at you before you can hit him. Otherwise, the blades just bounce off his leaf shield. And just like that, Woody is defeated. W. Get equipped with... Leaf Shield. And the next robot we will be fighting is Airman. Let's go kick his ass. In my opinion, this is the second hardest robot stage, besides Quick Man's stage. I hate these big floating things with their drills that come out from the top of them. Just be patient and wait for the drills to go back down. Oh, hell with it, I'm taking off. That almost cost me a life, so I think I'll wait next time. Oh, I hate you, I must shoot your drills. Now we have these platform floating clouds. They're not as bad as the ones in Mega Man 1. Just take your time and make sure your timing is just right. See, that wasn't too bad. Oh shit, now we gotta deal with these birds and their eggs and their swarms of little birdies. Oh, what an asshole move. I didn't even see that coming. Oh great, more of these. Aw, oh, to hell with it. I'm going for it. Oh, that almost got me killed. Now we gotta deal with these fan bastards. They try to blow you back and make you fall off the platforms. Oh, no. We gotta deal with these bird bitches again. Fan bastards and bird bitches. I hate them both.
Yay, we reached the boss door. Now let's go kick Airman's ass. And what weapon does Airman not like? The Leaf Shield, of course. It's not as easy as you think to hit him with the Leaf Shield. His many tornadoes will block the leaves if you throw them at him, so you have to wait until you get closer to him. But it does only take two hits to destroy him. Hey, get equipped with... Air Shooter! Message from Dr. Light. Item 2 completed! Get your weapons ready! Two. Get equipped with... Item 2. And again, that does not tell me shit about Item 2, but we will find out what it does later. Now let's take on Crash Man. I just love the music on this stage. Let's go ahead and equip our Metal Blade. It is the best weapon to use on this stage. Whoa, that was close. Ah, oh, you little prick. The reason the Metal Blade is the best weapon to use at this stage because you can fire in eight different directions. It's awesome. Ooh, an extra man. Ah, screw it. I got plenty of men. You don't have to wait for the platform to go all the way around. If you're comfortable with that jump, just go ahead and take it. I've always wondered, what's up with these platforms here? What is their purpose? I don't know what it is about this part, but I can never get past this little prick without taking a bullet from him. Hmm, which ladder should I take? We shall take the right one. Oh no, now I gotta deal with bird bitches while I'm climbing a ladder? The best way to deal with them is to equip your metal blade. Aha, that was slick. We definitely want to climb up this ladder. The other one leads to a dead end. It leads to a dead end, but there is some energy you can get if you go the other way. There's an energy tank down there, but I don't want to have to climb all the way back up, so I'll pass. There's the boss door. Let's go kick Crash Man's ass. And what weapon does Crash Man not like? The air shooter, of course. It only takes two shots from the air shooter to kill Crash Man. Just like that.
Let's see. Get equipped with... Crash Bomber! Alright, so now it's time to take on the last robot, Heat Man. The first part of this stage is fairly simple. Just watch where you jump. I do not know how I didn't just get hit there. Ah, oh, you little prick. I jumped over you. And of course we can't have a Mega Man without vanishing blocks, but this one's a piece of cake. What we want to use here is our Crash Bomber, so let's go ahead and blow up the wall. Let's blow up another wall. And once again, let's blow up another wall. Why I chose to blow up these walls? I don't know. I guess they gave me something to blow up, so I went ahead and took it. But I could have got over them walls without using the bombs. This is the hardest vanishing block ever. So what I like to do is stand here and use item number two and cruise all the way to the end. You can jump off to get that extra man, but I wouldn't recommend it. Oh no, not asshole again. Ouch, look how much damage he does. See you later, asshole. And now we have reached the boss door. Let's go kick Heat Man's ass. And what weapon does Heat Man not like? The bubble lead. It only takes three shots from the bubble lead to destroy Heat Man. Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention to my hit points and I died. Let's try this again. I will not make the same mistake this time. Booyah! Just like that, Heat Man is destroyed. Edge, get equipped with... Atomic Fire! Message from Dr. Light! Item 1 completed! Get your weapons ready! One, get equipped with... Item 1! And once again, that does not tell me shit about item 1, but we will find out what item 1 does later. So what I'm going to do now is get my password. Because the first time I played this game, I was on the second to last stage, and my NES decided to act up on me and give me the dreaded blinking red light. So I want to make sure that I will have a save point in case my NES wants to act up on me again. So this concludes Jay the Classic Gamers Let's Play Mega Man 2 for the NES Part 1. I want to thank you again for watching, and be sure to stay tuned for Part 2, the conclusion.